What do you get when your name's Amanda and you have ADD and OCD and you're a self-proclaimed minimalist? Yeah, a rearranged van every 14 days. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. I took that shelf that you see right there out of my van and I've come up with a different setup. So I had previously taken this seat down. It was in my stow and go. This was originally Winston's bed, but I took it down to rearrange my setup because I wanted to be able to access the drawers that I had sitting right here from the front and the back. So I had moved them um, where that seat is sitting basically. And you guys can see that in my other YouTube videos. So I decided, <laughs> what I was really missing out on was having access to all of this stuff from inside and outside my van. Um, and I wanted a better view from my trunk. So like when I'm sitting on my bed and I'm working, I can look out right and have a view, but before the shelf really blocked that. So today I went to Lowe's and bought this. It's basically for shoes, but it's a stackable shelf. They call it. So, it's just about uh, two feet long. I think it's like not quite, uh, I think it's like a foot high exactly. Um, and then I had bought these bins. They're high quality. They were $12 each at Lowe's because I bought one for my coffee and one for my miscellaneous items that are, that typically go in the bottom drawer of my third, my three drawer unit. So I bought those with the intention of sliding them here where this teal slider goes, but they're literally a centimeter too high. So what I did, that's my bamboo table as you guys know, is I took Velcro and I Velcroed them to the shelf. So basically they're not going anywhere. And you can see how nice and like I said, high, high quality they are. Um, I typically just get like the dollar store bins, but I needed something sturdier. So each bin, like I said, was $12 at Lowe's. I bought the shelf. I think it was only 16 or $17 at Lowe's. And I realized they didn't fit in that. <laughs> they didn't fit in the bottom here and they didn't fit right here. So to expand my space, essentially, I Velcro Velcroed them to the top and then realized then I can lay my bamboo table from Amazon on the top of it as well. And I can use it as a counter, a table or, or whatever, or I can, or I can take it off. So I, I essentially um, added a third of the space to my shelf. So um, this shelf isn't secure right now. It's not really going anywhere, but I will um, secure it down. I just haven't decided how yet. So, I like this. I kind of got I kind of got innovative um, to come up with a modern, simple solution. And then you can see I have my rock pals right there with my rock pals solar over here and my table, just like I used to keep it um, in my other setup. So here's a view uh, from the inside of the van. As you can see, I can still access that um, second shelf in my van and then if I'm sitting here on the end of my bed I can use the table if I want or I can just take the table off to use it so it's really like a versatile sort of setup that I that I decided on but now I can really you know see out of my trunk and then I moved my fridge back to its original space right here which I really like so now Winston will have his bed back which he will <laughs> appreciate I think he missed it um, missed having that chair there for him. And then next on my list is to find a place for the Blue Eddy, but it's it's just on my list, so I'll I'll figure it out. But I'm kind of back to my my setup that I had in my updated setup video, but I reworked my trunk. Just to recap, I took out my three drawer storage unit, replaced it with this $17 shelf from Lowe's as well as these bins and then on top of it is my foldable table uh, from Amazon and that's what it looks like without the table. 
So I'm happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have any other suggestions, I'm just trying to, um, I don't know, <laughs> switch it up because I always switch it up and I have fun uh, reimagining uh, life in my van every once in a while. So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And also let me know if you're working on anything in your van. Uh, I'm always curious to see what, what people are doing and what projects you're up to. And in the meantime, Winston and I will see you next time.